It, there's not downpours, but it is going to be drizzly and misty, just kind of like it's been all week long, guys. So at least we're used to the weather we're going to have today. And it's our last day where we're going to be dealing with these conditions. We're finally going to see the return of the sun. I think some of us forgot what that even was or what it looked like. That comes back late tomorrow. Next week looks fantastic. So we just got to get through another day and a half of these conditions. Highs today are going to look very similar to yesterday. We got stuck in the 40s yesterday. We'll be stuck in the 40s today. A couple of degrees warmer, hopefully uh, around 47, 48 degrees. So a little bit better at least, but another kind of soggy day with those on and off, you know, drizzly shower conditions, breeze out of the north. It makes it feel even colder than it is. So it's definitely not going to be pleasant outside, but I hear that's not stopping anyone from celebrating all these uh, rodeo traditions and events. So just bundle up and, you know, plan accordingly. You'll be just fine overnight. Our lows don't fall that much from our daytime highs. So lower 40s because we'll still have that thick blanket of clouds keeping us warmer. We say unsettled, but this is our last dose of showers and this is a cold so low that's going to kind of cruise across, uh, bring us one last dose of rain here that you'll see on future casts. And then we're finally going to break out of this traffic jam that has been this kind of stalled front, keeping us in this unsettled pattern. Showers on and off, varying in intensity, light to moderate still, though a lot of this doesn't reach the ground. And notice it's very spotty and hit or miss. So it's still going to be kind of light rain or drizzly throughout the day today. Same thing for this evening. And then we get into the overnight hours and notice it starts to squeeze out from north to south. So by Tomorrow morning, things are already starting to clear in our northern areas. And by tomorrow afternoon and evening, take a look at that sunshine by sunset. And then that is pretty much a case all week long. Things are looking fantastic once we get to overnight Sunday and into the day on Monday. If you are headed to uh, the Mardi Gras celebrations along the coastline in Galveston, a little bit warmer, not by much, but temperatures at least during the day will be in the 50s, 40s overnight for lows. That pesky north breeze is going to make it feel a little bit colder, though, for Saturday. So for today, cloudy with that on and off drizzle and then again that late day clearing on Sunday should at least have the afternoon and evening events feeling much better. We're still going to be chilly in the morning through about Thursday, but notice at least this is an upward trend, right? We're heading in the right direction. Same thing for daytime highs. So back into the 60s from Monday and Tuesday, 70s by Wednesday and take a look towards the end of the week. We could get an 80 degree day, uh, so we really just have to get through these conditions raining through Sunday morning. Then we'll start to clear things out. Things look much better for the first official day of the rodeo on Monday. Dry and pleasant with good sunshine and continuously warming temperatures throughout.